In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated line on a map, a line that follows a path using Apple Motion 5. I've got Apple Motion here open, and I'm going to make this into a 4K map. You can check out all the presets, check out other videos on that. And I'm going to make this a standard NTSC video with a duration of 10 seconds. And now I simply hit open, and I get this big old project window, which I will now shrink down so you can see the whole project window. Now that this window is open, I simply go to Finder, find the map that I want. In this case, it's hermitagepoint.png or ping. I drop it into this layer panel where I can get it in there. And then I simply need to zoom out, command minus, until I can see my entire map. Now I don't want the map wiggling around, so I'm going to lock the map there. The next thing is to expand your line here a little bit, click on group one, and now you want to go and choose the Bezier tool. The Bezier tool will allow you to draw your line. Once you click on this tool, you simply go to the point where you want to start your line, and then you click, 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 or you click and drag to create curves along your path. You simply begin clicking and following your path here. It's not perfect, but it'll be good enough for the purposes of this video. And you come to the end and you double click. Now I have an animated path along my map. Now let me click project, come to the very beginning here, hit space bar, and, oh, that's odd. I have a solid line. What do I do? Here's the trick. In order to animate this line on the map, you click the Bezier line, and then you go to Behavior, go to Shape under Behavior, and the very non-intuitive Write On tool. When you choose the Write On tool in Action, what that will do is it will animate the line across the timeline. Now if I click Project, I come to the beginning and I hit space bar to begin playing, you'll see our line actually begins animating across the map perfectly smoothly. However, there are a couple of things that I want to change on this. The first is I don't like the color. That white is very hard to view. So what I do is again, choose the right on tool on the timeline. Then I go to the inspector in the left hand panel here. And then once you go to there, you click on shape. Once you click on shape, you come to the outline box here, click the color, and then I'm going to choose the classic red color for my line. Just that simple. And now you can see that our line here is red. I also want my line a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna crank up the width to 25 just based on my experience of what this looks like. And also, I want a pointer at the end of my line. So what I'm going to do is go to the end cap, choose instead of round, I'm going to choose the arrow. And also I'm going to make that arrow length just a little bit longer, but make it a little bit skinnier. There we go. And now when I animate my line, you can see that that arrow marches along the path. Now, one of the problems is when the video gets to the end here, you'll see what happens, it goes to the end, and it just completely disappears. So here's the other trick to animating your line on a map. You want to animate your line on the map, but you need several seconds of hold time at the end to show what it actually looks like in the end. So the trick to do that, doing that is again, click on right on, on your timeline, Go to the end of the right on track, and when you hover your mouse over, you'll notice it goes from a mouse pointer to this little bracket with an arrow. You simply click on that bracket and drag it back to, let's say, eight seconds. And now my line will hold for two seconds at the end of the animation and take a total of eight seconds to complete the animation. So now I will go back and I will hit spacebar and I'll watch what our animation does. As it goes over this map, it'll come to the end here and terminate. And for two seconds, it will hold on the end of the map. Now you'll see my arrow went a little bit too far. So what I need to do now is I need to edit my Bezier line. 
In order to edit my Bezier line, I use the tool adjusts here, and there are lots of different tools, but what I want is the edit points tool, and I'm going to take that very last control point, maybe a couple of them here, and pull it back so my arrow ends at the very end of my map. And now when I click back, uncheck and release the line, let's see how this thing does. It follows the path, squiggles along, and comes to the end and stops exactly where I want it. That is how you animate a line on a map using Apple Motion 5. It's a super simple technique and very useful to me because I'm a digital arts teacher, but I'm also a polar explorer, and in order to present my animations, I need to make animated lines on a map. Please like and comment on the video, and if you found this useful, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy your map animation!